a state-by-state -state guide to coronavirus financial assistance. While federal programs to help companies affected by COVID-19 have taken center stage, many states and cities are offering critical financial assistance for small businesses as well. With many small businesses around the U.S. impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, federal, state and local governments have begun offering assistance in the form of low-interest loans and grants. However, while new federal actions like the Paycheck Protection Program have made headlines, many state and local programs have not been highlighted. At least 24 states and the District of Columbia have financial aid programs to help small businesses. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation has released a helpful state-by-state -state guide that outlines the different loans, grants, and funds that state and local governments as well as some private organizations are offering to small businesses. At least 24 states and the District of Columbia have financial aid programs to help small businesses. A few of states featured in the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation's guide include California, the cities of Los Angeles, Sacramento, San Diego and San Francisco, as well as one Los Angeles-based organization, are offering loans, grants and donations designed to help small businesses. Colorado. The state of Colorado and the city of Denver have both created programs to help small businesses. The Colorado COVID Relief Fund's purpose is to raise and allocate funds for community-based organizations including small businesses, with general operating grants of up to $25,000. The Denver Business Assistance Programs provide up to a $7,500 in cash grants. Florida, the Florida Small Business Emergency Bridge Loan Program, which has aided businesses since 1992, offers small businesses who have been hurt by COVID-19 with short-term Interest-free working capital loans are intended to bridge the gap between the time a major catastrophe hits and when a business has secured longer-term recovery resources. New York, New York City created the Nike Small Business Continuity Loan Fund to help small businesses stay afloat during the COVID-19 crisis. The fund targets businesses with fewer than 100 employees who have had sales drop 25% or more, and offers them zero-interest loans up to $75,000. Washington, Seattle's small businesses are receiving aid from both Amazon and the city government of Seattle. Amazon created the Neighborhood Small Business Relief Fund, which is designed to help businesses with fewer than 50 employees or less than $7 million in annual revenue. Seattle's Small Business Stabilization Fund is designed to help low- and moderate-income business owners and offers grants up to $10,000. Paycheck Protection Loan Guide Economic Injury Disaster Loan Guide Employee Retention Tax Credit Guide Coronavirus Response Toolkit for Businesses Customizable Flyer for Businesses to Communicate with Customers Find Your Local Chamber of Commerce the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation's list of small business resources for coronavirus assistance. CARES Act Guide for Independent Contractors and 1,099 Workers. We are calling on Congress to immediately restore funding for the CARES Act Small Business Loan and Grant Programs. The Coronavirus Aid, Relief 
and economic security. C A R E S Act expands the Small Business Administration's long-standing economic injury disaster loan program. E I D L D I D L program was created to assist businesses, renters, and homeowners located in regions affected by declared disasters. The SBA has issued guidance that it will provide initial E.I.D.L. loan disbursements of up to $15,000 in addition to the advance of up the $10,000 detailed in the guide below. The U.S. Chamber is working to ensure Congress replenishes the funds to meet demand from small businesses in need. For immediate assistance on a question or application, please email disastercustomerservice at spa.gov. Who is eligible? In general, all of the following entities that have suffered substantial economic injury caused by a disaster provided they were in existence on January 31, 2020. Businesses with fewer than 500 employees. Cooperatives, E, S, O, P, S, and tribal small businesses with fewer than 500 employees. Sole proprietors, independent contractors, most private non-profits. What are the loan parameters? The maximum E, I, D, L, is a $2 million working capital loan at a rate of 3.75% for businesses and 2.75% for non-profits with up to a 30-year term. Payments on coronavirus e, I, D, L, loans are deferred for one year. Up to $200,000 can be approved without a personal guarantee. Approval can be based on a credit score and no first-year tax returns are required. Borrowers do not have to prove they could not get credit elsewhere. No collateral is required for loans of $25,000 or less. For loans of more than $25,000, general security interest in business assets will be used for collateral instead of real estate. The borrowers must allow the S.B.A. to review its tax records. How can I access an emergency $10,000 grant? Eligible applicants for an E.I.D.L. can receive a $10,000 emergency grant within three days of application. There is no obligation to repay the grant. To receive the $10,000 emergency grant, it is not necessary to have an approved E. I, D, L, loan. However, if you are able to secure a P, 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 loan, the $10,000 grant will be subtracted from the forgiveness amount. How do I apply? Apply online at www.spa.gov disaster.